I'm here with Ricardo Salvetti at Lenaro Connect in Orlando, Florida. Ricardo, you're the Lenaro Developer Platform Tech Lead. Can you tell viewers a little bit about what you do? Yep, sure. Um, I basically uh, lead the team that uh, helps bring in up the, what we call as the Developer Platform at Lenaro. Is basically uh, the platform has so many different means in Lenaro, but uh, what we are trying to say and uh, what we are trying to bring in our team is um, a whole US and a, 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 that people could, for example, experiment, put it in the boards and um, adding all, for example, the development tools and all the tools that they, are, they need for the usual work. Uh, so we are trying to bring up the, the OS solution for people to use internally on Lenaro. For example, for the validation team is, the, is basically the distribution, the OS, the platform, as we say. That are going to use in the validation lab, that are going to boot up the boards and, and do all the verifications and so on. It's also one target that we use um, to put all the development tools that we think it's, it's useful for people to try it out, like for example, all the performance tools and uh, um, debugging tools and etc. Try to bring up everything in one single platform so people could uh, just download, for example, put it on a board and have all the development experience that they have uh, uh, that you can have using all the latest technologies that Linaro helps improving in development. And in our case, we are, uh, we selected Ubuntu as our platform. So, what we do is uh, that we currently build, for example, four different images of Ubuntu. One very minimal. One is uh, basically for ARM with that is what we call as X with some minimal stuff. Also, a developer image where uh, we integrate most of the development tools and tracing tools and etc. together, and we also produce in a full Ubuntu desktop image with all the optimizations that uh, that come from from ARM in general that Linaro helps developing. How can developers, if they want to get involved and help your team, how do they go about doing that and getting involved with you and your team? Uh, with our team, it's quite easy because uh, actually. As we are working quite uh, quite together with the Ubuntu team in general, so it's basically like using the same channel that Ubuntu already provides, like for example the RC channels and uh, um, Ubuntu already has uh, uh, an uh, Ubuntu ARM RC channel, and uh, we can use the, the mailing list for for Ubuntu and etc. All our developers that are part of our team are we are trying to bring it up, but we are trying to have them as also Ubuntu developers. So if you, for example, you want to try Ubuntu or you want to try the normal uh, uh, Linux OS uh, and an ARM board, an ARM target board, you can come up either with Ubuntu or Linaro and we'll help, out, help it out and um, help with the development and bringing new features and so on. So you mentioned the collaboration between Ubuntu and, and Linaro. Um, how has um, this collaboration made ARM better for Ubuntu? Um, we help it in a, a lot of different levels, it, which, which is actually quite good. Uh, for example, um, the current GCC that uh, Ubuntu maintains uh, 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 is already integrating uh, the Delenaro GCC that we produce on every month. Uh, for ARM specifically, uh, there's, for example, for Oinark, we, we provided the, the kernel image for IMAX 53. So they, they, they started building uh, an official Ubuntu image on top of that, and we provided the kernel for them. And um, for, for OMAP4, we also helped with the TI landing team, providing the, 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 the patches and modifications and so on for, for, for people to use. Um, we just integrated um, uh, on Arnic2, uh, for example, LibJPEG Turbo, that is a replacement for LibJPEG with uh, some op other optimizations for people to try it out. And um, we help maintaining the bootloader and some very other important pieces of Ubuntu now. So we're kind of uh, integrating our deliverables and, and everything that we can, our optimizations in many levels of Ubuntu in general. It's exciting. Is there anything else that I haven't asked you about, about what you do at Lenaro, what your team does, mm -hmm. collaboration with your partners that you would like to talk about now? Well, there's some uh, interesting goals now uh, for the future, as Mark Shuttleworth announced that uh, it, Ubuntu is also moving, for example, for tablets and phones and so on. So uh, this is a new target for us, for us, and uh, ARM for sure will be a, a huge part of that of that work. So we are now trying out to think uh, about what we can do for the future development, like what, how can we help bringing up uh, toolkits and interfaces to help 
with tablets and phones and TVs and so on, and, and what we can optimize in the ARM, ARM level so we can have the prime uh, uh, platform and uh, OS and etc. that is it's going to be fully accelerated and, 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 and working uh, perfectly out of the box in Ubuntu. So there are many challenges in, uh, in the future and um, we hope to see uh, more people contribute, more people pushing things and uh, more people trying out on different platforms and uh, uh, new interfaces, new concepts and so on. And we will probably help them to try to optimize things and, 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 and try to bring up in the end a better product for, for ARM in general. I'm excited to see where this is going, the, the uh, goals for the next cycle and, and beyond. And so, Ricardo, thank you so much for sitting down and, and telling view viewers a little bit about what you do and what you're doing at Lenora. Thank you.